Alright guys, how's it going? I was just having a little browse of the blender market and I came across this absolute gem of a plugin. It's called Modeling Cloth and it's $35 but while I was having a little scroll down I noticed download the latest version for free. Now, I'm not wanting to pass up a bargain so let's jump into Blender and hopefully by the end of the video I'll actually merit why this plugin deserves $35. Now I won't show you how to install it, that's pretty basic stuff. But what I'll do is I'll jump into edit mode, I'll loop select pressing alt key and I'll delete these faces. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to jump back into object mode, add on a modifier, do a subdivision surface, I'll keep it simple, I'll make the viewport 6 and the render 6 as well. Then I'll hit apply, jump back into the edit mode, what I'll do next is I'll select the edges, I'll loop select this edge by holding ALT, I'll come down to this edge, I'll hold SHIFT and ALT and I'll loop select this edge. Then I'll introduce you to the plugin. So if we bring up the properties here, you'll see it down here, Extended Tools. So first of all we'll use Soul Lines. Now this plugin kind of reminds me of Marvelous Designer. So same again, I'll loop select these edges, I'll come down, SHIFT and ALT and I'll loop select and again, what I'll do is I'll jump into soul lines. So now that we have some soul lines, what we can do is we jump back into object mode, select our object, and we'll make this a modeling cloth. Now this is just going to show you the basics of what this cloth can do. Take a look at the developer's YouTube videos. He goes a lot more into depth. He also has a few other plugins, really powerful plugins to be fair. And I highly recommend supporting them. So we have two options here, animation update. Now animation update kinda works like cloth, you hit play and the timeline will simulate. Or you can have continuous update, so I'll hit continuous update. Now keep in mind, the more subdivision, the longer things might take to actually initiate and sim. But this is pretty fast. Now you won't initially see anything happen and it's because the soul force is at zero. So what if we do 0 0.1? You'll start to see it sewing. Now this is ideal for garments and things like that, especially if you're wanting to put one piece of cloth and then wrap it around a character. But when I was playing around, I actually noticed that there's a few more options. Now just to give you an idea how optimised this code is, if I hit the grab tool, check this out. That's pretty good eh? Now you're probably thinking, why is this powerful? So let me just quickly show you an example. I'm going to drop in a text object. I'll hit tab to go into edit mode and I'll just make a small A. I'll come here, I'll change the geometry, I'll put the depth up on the bevel and I'll extrude it out. So I'll make it 0 0.01 on the bevel. The next thing I'm going to do is jump back into object mode. I'm going to go to object, convert, convert from mesh. Something like this. Then what I'll do is I'll jump into remesh and I'll do a remesh. I'll make it smooth and we'll have something like this. A kind of balloon shape. I'll hit apply and I'll do a subdivision surface over the top just to give it a smoothing. I'll jump into edit mode. What I'm going to do is I'm going to loop select the middle polygons. So I'll select polygons. And I'll do something like this. I'll hit delete. I'll delete the faces. Then same again. I'll jump onto edges. I'll loop select this edge, I'll hold shift alt and I'll do this edge, sew the lines, jump back into object mode. Now I do apologise I'm going kinda quick here but I don't want the video to take too long. Then what I'll do is I'll go into modelling cloth. So you can already see that that was a pretty quick action. Next thing I'll do is continuous update, I'll put the sew force to 0 0.5. I'll put continuous update on and check out what it does. We get this kind of epic balloon shape. Now this is where I was playing around with it and I thought, hmm, there's always ways to do things in Blender. So if I put inflation up, it just goes crazy. There's no minimum movement. So what I'm going to do is put inflation down to 0, 0.0. I'll reset. And what I can do here is because it's an attribute, I can actually insert a keyframe. So in frame 1, I'll make it 0. And on frame 20, for example, I'll make it 
0.001 small inflation, so something like this. And on frame 40, what I'll do is I'll do the negative value. So something like minus 0, 0 0.01, same again, I'll create a keyframe. Now watch this. So I'll reset the update, and wherever my timeline is in the keyframe, so if I put it on 0, we'll get this. If I move it to 20, it should inflate, and if I move it to 40, it should deflate. So this is where this plugin actually stands on its own. So let's do a small inflation. So let's reset it. Let's put it to frame 20, and something like that. Now this is one of the advantages with using this plugin. If we jump into the object data, we can actually see that the shape keys we can actually influence the value of these shape keys so it's ideal for animating so that's pretty much the basics of modeling cloth i highly recommend you jump onto the guy's youtube channel this is available for free but it's 35 dollars and you can either buy it through blender market or the preferred method i believe the guy would rather use gumroad so please support third-party developers this plugin has a lot of potential like the video subscribe to the channel you know what to do. Peace.